we we'll take it off from there. We there is this impression going around that you are no you known you known to sponsor the party, not just in your world but in the local government, and your name is heard in the states. Uh, in the recent time, he's been heard. He's been there's this impression that you no longer sponsor the party. You no longer show interest in the party. Well. How true is that? Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. How true is that? Well, um... I must be... Thank you for giving me this opportunity to have this interview with... Um... We have been trying to see how we can get in touch. But, uh... Time factors has been a problem. But uh, let me answer your question. I try as much as possible to stay clear from Labour Party because uh, you can't beat a child and tell them. If there is anything I don't joke with, I don't joke with Ingrid. Do you know the House of Assembly member in Anyocha Oshimi, Ngozi Okoli? I stopped associating with the party because of Ngozi. I, I did not tell Ngozi to give me anything. Before Ngozi went into God the ticket, a friend, I don't know Ngozi, don't even have his number. I'm not saying this, I'm not telling Ngozi to call me or anything or nothing. But a friend called me at the middle of the night, came to my house and said, this is, the plan was just, we just want to conceive he was not doing well. Yeah, from the look of things now, because it didn't do the Melu look far better than because it's supposed to say it. Do you know that the day when I agreed to support Ngozi and our agreement with this, it was his friend. And I told his friend, I said, I, said, I don't want Ngozi's number. He didn't, no problem, I will go in for it. I don't want him to call me. I don't even I don't even want him to know. So we started the whole thing. People, I must tell you, people from Kota Court from and they started the whole campaign and everything. Behold, because he won the election. I didn't even say I didn't I didn't how I'm not expecting his call or anything, no. But you know, till now, because he has never gone to my local government and tell them thank you. Up till now, supposed to be the leader of Labour Party. No, I'm asking you, who is supposed to be the, the, the leader? But you know that up till now, we got Labour meeting for one day to tell my people thank you. That is my I can tell you for free, there are some of my friends who, who have been in this. They, they were there in three weeks. We are not asking for go to the local government. You know what? It's the forbidden thing. So that is not my anger. I don't have any other problem with the bad So I, I, can you speak to this guy? Who are I 
I am stating that from or contract until the plan is done. I come to this uh beyond that uh, there is the impression that you have the disposition to take your party to court how much of that is true yes yes and you know why i have not done it You see, I, I, I don't, I don't pretend when I want to do things. No. I believe in the rule of law. And, but I spoke to the elders, they told me, calm down. Let me tell you, my reason is this, that Labour Party is being held in Nigeria today is because of obedience. And since after the election, the people who claim that they are members of the Labour Party has failed to obedience along. Their, 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 their tenure has expired. What are they still doing in the office? So that is why I want to go to court, so that court will interpret the difference. Uh, it's as simple as that. I I will do that. Unless, if they said, because they told me, I listened to the elders, they told me, several of them, they told me, just wait, we are working on something, and if they are not agreeing to that, then we can give you go ahead. But, so I, I said, I'm waiting. Waiting. I'm with you. And I'm waiting. Okay. But if the writing is not done, I will. Okay. Uh, speaking of obedience, uh, there have been this argument that the support it goes with the disappointment. Let me speak to you as a person. Uh, or the disappointment you got from the system after the election, have that dissuaded, let's talk about obedience now, not Labour Party, has that in any way okay. discouraged the obedience, people like you who are in the forefront pushing this? Well, I... You see... You're a little off the camera. Nigeria is a... Country. Yeah, to, to sit down. Tell herself the truth. Because let me tell you, I was telling one of the elders, I think that was two days ago, that your generations have given us of our, of our right. You see, we've not really benefited anything as a citizen of the country. You see, we, we feel the, the obedience can make a change. And look at the people causing crisis in the party. These are old men. And let me tell you, let me tell you, know when we get this whole thing, when we say bribery, when we say no to taking something that we know is right, they go from the ruling party and they come, they come and they disorganize, they disorganize the party. They are on a mission. It's as simple as that. Just like what Yes on Wike is doing in PDP, that is what some some people are doing in the Labour Party. It's as simple as that. Like a friend of mine called me, that was two two Sundays ago, to tell me that Ngozi is in Port Harcourt for to visit her, and I smiled. Let me tell you, Ngozi as a person, since Ngozi went to the legislative system, have you ever heard any, any bill sponsored by Ngozi? Have you ever seen Ngozi like in the floor talking? 
Kingibe. Why? Why? You know, Kingibe, she's a woman. Look at Victor. We see them on the floor debating. Have you ever heard of Ngo? No. So, but uh, when I, I like to ask the question, the simple truth is this. Let me tell you. Anywhere people be go, that is wrong. So we are patiently waiting. Because let me tell you, if people be leaves, Labour Labour Party will go nowhere. Mark me, quote me anywhere. Yeah. Some of this generosity they are enjoying today and this corruption they are swimming into today is because of it to be influenced. Let me tell you, if Ngozi continue the way we in, I will come up to the come next general election to make sure that he leaves, that we will see him. I say it on a television in my feeling. Because even the people who that they are the bad egg, it's even, it's even those people are even human him. him. Congress has not been conducted. He has never come to say, hey, what is the problem in the party? Where are we? Where are we to? How are we going to put our house in order? Is the leader of the party, which role is he playing as a leader? So, so because you know, people who is in the prison certain things to say, uh, maybe he has sold to 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 money or anything. Oh no, 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 no! I said I did what I did, and his friends who introduced him to me, I told his friend, if I need something from Ungozi, I would say, okay, before we do anything, call Ungozi so that we talk. I told his friends, I said I don't that. I'm meeting with his contact. So, so, but I must be sincere because before we get to the national level, let us put our own help from our local government to the state. Let, let us put it in order. All right. Uh, to put this in, in proper context, before I let you go, uh, recognizing that you're quite busy, uh, you seem to have uh, this affection for the way uh, Honorable Ngozi Okole seem to be conducting his affairs. Beyond that, in a neutral note, uh, do you have any disaffection with uh, the the politics in your party? Well, I that is saying, you know, you know what you know, you know, you know the problem in our party. Yeah. When you have malaria and you are taking medication. For five, you're not complicating the issue. By the time, what for us, we see, let us tell the truth. We, we know where we know the truth. We want to accept it because we have personal agenda, not Nigerian agenda. You get, and why? That is why our politician. They have, they have uh, a kind of conclusion. They don't believe you. They believe in election. Not taking us, the ordinary citizens, for granted. They look at the statement we can make in national television about King Gibe because he knows that there is nothing like election because he feels we buy everybody. So that everything is all about money and, and by everybody. So first of all, let us reject their money and tell them like what we did in 2023. 
to tell them we need our electoral system to be fixed. Not this thing INEC is doing, claiming that conducting an election. No. Yeah. First of all, if get it right, our electoral system, we must put everything together and tell ourselves the truth and say, now we are ready to vote. But if we continue with this shenanigan, this whole thing will still continue. You see, bribery, corruption is going to be the order. So, that, that is just it, just it. I am very, very displeased on how our politicians treat us. But look at the people who say, okay, let's put them there, they are going to make change. What happened? How many party House of Assembly members, apart from King Gibe, and sometimes you see Steve Umede, how many of them has played their role as opposition? Even the system that he has put in his pocket now, what is going on? You see, our elders, the day they go bribery, that is when we'll be able to get our, pol our politics right. But if, if we put money before anything, we are going to continue the way we are going. That is as simple as that. Because, you see, our politicians, they are just fooling us. They are just playing on our intelligence. Because they know, even if we say we are going to, the vote, the vote doesn't. You see, he, he, I'm not from River State, but let me tell you, I take my time anytime I'm back from work. Look at the event, what is happening in River State. I must really, Fubara, I don't know him. But I must thank him for what he is doing, for what he has for. So is 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 uh, this wicked, wicked, wicked? This wicked, tell wicked now. Hmm? I get to court in the public to give, give for two, two hours. He can't. What he knows is violence. Finish. Take away violence from Wike is nothing. He feel his philosophy is his philosophy is that everything can be bought, everybody can be bright. And why how he has succeeded in killing PDP. And that same thing is what is happening in Labour Party. So that is my contribution. The day we sit down and tell ourselves we want to do analysis of what our problem is. And our problem, when we say no, we cannot entertain this from our politicians, that is when everything will start going well. We are so blessed. So that, that is just it. Uh, well, uh, before I let you go, uh, a lot of people might be have this level of disaffection for uh, politics, the way it is being played. It is not getting any better. Uh, are you giving up are people of in your shoes uh, people who have the same who are in your school of thought are you giving up on Nigeria hmm no you know what I my principal was here last time and he encouraged us and he was able to convince us that we don't have any other country than Nigeria. So based on that fact and his analysis, I still believe that Rome was not built in a day. Nigeria will be, I still have hope. I still have hope. I know many people, you see like, some people will tell me, 
don't waste your money in Nigerian politics. And people begin to, why are you wasting this money? I said, because that is not my, that is my country. I'm a very patriotic Nigerian. I want to see Nigeria work. But you know, I don't blame our people because most of the thing they do is that poverty, they have succeeded in using poverty to weaponize our stem. So resisting bribery would be very difficult. So I can tell you, there are many families that today, they don't know where the next meal will come from. I come from that country, and he has, the country has never been so bad like this now. All right. Uh, that's it. And to put faith when, in... You see, we... I want to say this. We, we, we pray. We pray a lot. Mm. Mm? But still... We face challenges. So, you see, our problem is that we should be able to understand religion. And people should stop using religion as a means, as a, as, as a means, like as a business enterprise. That is one of the problems we are having. Even the people who are the elderly, the, the religious uh, fathers and all that, are they really are they really speaking the truth to power? Are they really playing their role? Our traditional rulers, are they really playing their role? So that is it goes down to what I told you that. By the time we tell ourselves the truth and tell and make like analysis of what we are going through and understand what we're going through, that is how you see we begin to solve the problem. But if we still live in denial, but I still have hope in Nigeria. <laughs> All right, in few words, as you can if you may uh the same zeal you people put in into making it happen ahead of 2023 uh, 2027 is around the corner what is being done regardless of this disaffection to accelerate this conversation what is being done to ensure that uh you walk your talk and uh, not just leave nigeria uh disappointed and disappointed the way it stands now you see, if the Labour Party, if they are ready to work as an opposition, if they are ready to do their job, conduct congresses, people who have integrity, why not? We do like the way we did it before. They are bringing people like Lugos into the system. No. All right. Tell them that we have to work against them. So as that. Your final word for obedience like you who still have hope for Nigeria and uh, who are still within the fringes and praying for Nigeria to get better. You sir? Your final word for obedience like you who are still in the fringes praying, mm -hmm. hoping and putting every effort to get Nigeria back on its feet. Well, I... Um, you see, um, my final word is that obedience should be able to 
stand to reorganize this and get ready for 2027 because we don't have opposition party. The only alternative is Labour Party. PDP is like is a dead vehicle already. Like in this local government election, if they were able to put some things in, that an opportunity for us to grab so many positions. We don't have a position. PDP is dead already. I am. Yes, on Wiki has succeeded in collapsing PDP, and the PDP, the calibers of people they have there, have refused to stand up to resist TS on Wiki. So, so the PDP is a gun. The only can labor, labor should use this. I am telling you, if Labour how if Labour Party is a party that is in order, that they had it, we able to put their house in order. I will tell you, many big fish from PDP would have jumped ship into Labour Party, and I know one particular person who would have done that by now. I know the person. I have had that conversation with him, and if the person join the party would have been would have been a credit to the party so they should they should stop it they should wake up and opportunity the opportunity they are lying before them so that is just my kindly advice uh i'll call you comrade uh, i'm going to thank you so much for giving us this time and uh, we look forward to do this often because project nigeria has just begun and we should keep hope alive and keep efforts thank you so much for giving us this time no problem nice to speak with you this has been so like done tries to work. but finally we're able to meet. We hope to be having this subsequent. Thank you for your time. I appreciate it. All right, brother. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. All right.